Hi everybody. This video I will be building the internal frame of the horizontal stabilizer and then mocking up the entire horizontal stabilizer. First I will be selecting all the parts and then deburring as always and then fluting. So fluting I have found to be a very simple process. It just you have to lay the pieces flat. I use uh, the table <coughs> and then flute accordingly until it is perfectly flat to the table. Pardon me while I fix a chair. So yeah, all of the internal ribs to the horizontal stabilizer I am sitting here meticulously filing down. I have uh, both a regular kind of pull speed deburring uh, de tool and a nice set of craftsmen files, which I love. And while the aluminum files do work really well, uh, I also have a uh, steel file, and that really does uh, a good job of removing some material when I need it. So here I am fluting, uh, very carefully fluting, very slowly amounts uh, each time, and then laying back uh, the rib on the table, seeing if it is flat or if I've overbent it. It is so nice getting to actually build an internal frame of one of the pieces. Very exciting. And here we go, and we see the front spar being put on. The pieces fit uh, perfectly well together. Uh, everything that everyone has said is absolutely true. If it doesn't line up, then you did something wrong. So much work, I did deserve a nice, cool, zesty beverage. Okay, so, challenge number one. Trying to get the skin of the horizontal stabilizer onto the frame itself. Very difficult. So I tried rigging it, I tried... Uh, basically, the skin doesn't want to sit as flush as the frame does, so I've got that thing shimmed in every which direction trying to get it to work. Ultimately, the only thing that really worked was having to kind of manhandle the skin onto the very front of the frame and then work your way backwards. Praying the entire time that the ribs, so all the ribs in the front, you need to kind of sand and round down so that they do not, not cre create creases through the skin itself. I mean, the skin's pretty thick. But even so, that skin is tight. I mean, on that frame, that thing is like stiff. Anyway, uh, once I get most of these Clecos on, I just wanted to make sure, I think I put one in every hole just to see what it would look like, make sure all the uh, pieces fit. Uh, there is a little bit of adjusting you have to do because the rib flanges, while they are seated correctly, just you know, ever so slightly might be one-tenth of a millimeter off. So you'll, as you start to click of them in, the holes start to line up as you go from the front to the back. You get paranoid the entire time, like, oh god, is this thing going to be straight? I think I look at my phone more than I do anything. Ridiculous. So there's a few mat there's uh, a couple of uh, match drill holes that you need to make uh, through the spars or through the skins into the uh, ribs. Sorry. Yeah. So once that's done, now we get to match drill. Or, sorry, final drill, all of the 332nd or number 40 holes that uh, correspond to both the skin and the frame underneath. So it's drill, 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 
Now what I did was I just put in a Cleco in every other hole. Or roughly every other hole. Then move all the Clecos and then and then uh, drill out the rest of the holes. Take some time. But when you do it right, then it uh, totally pays off in the end. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to keep uh, drilling these holes. And then once you're done match drilling everything, afterwards we will be disassembling, deburring, cleaning, and preparing everything, uh, including uh, paint. I don't think I primed yet. And another marathon of minutia coming up. So, to be continued.